Good day children. It's nice to see you again, welcome to our new video. On our last episode we learned addition and subtraction of integers. On this episode we'll learn how to multiply integers. Multiplication of integers is the process of repetitive addition including positive and negative numbers or we can simply say, integers. When we come to the case multiplication of integers, the following cases must be considered. Multiplying two positive numbers. Multiplying two negative numbers and multiplying one positive and one negative number. Rule number one, when we multiply integers with two positive signs, positive times positive equals positive. Like for example, two times five equals 10. Another example, four times 10 is equal to 40. Rule number two, when we multiply integers with two negative signs, negative times negative equals positive. Like for example, negative two times negative three is equal to six. Another example, negative 4 times negative 9 is equal to 36. Moving on, rule number 3, when we multiply integers with one negative sign and one positive sign or negative times positive equals negative. Like for example negative 2 times positive 5 or 5 is equal to negative 10. Another example, positive 5 or 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. The table given shows the rules and examples for multiplying integers. Multiplication of integers is very similar to normal multiplication. However, since integers deal with both negative and positive numbers, we have certain rules or conditions to remember while multiplying integers as we saw in the previous section. Let us look at the steps for multiplying integers. Step 1. Determine the absolute value of the numbers. Step 2. Find the product of the absolute values. Step 3. Once the product is obtained, determine the sign of the number according to the rules or conditions. Let us look at an example to understand the steps better. Multiply negative 6 and 9. Step number 1. Determine the absolute value of negative 6 and 9. The absolute value of negative 6 is equal to 6 while positive 9 is equal to 9. Step number 2. Find the product of the absolute value numbers 6 and 9. So we have 6 times 9 is equal to 54. Now on step number 3. Determine the sign of the product according to the multiplication of integers rules. According to the multiplication of integer rule, if a negative number is multiplied with a positive number, then the product is a negative number. Therefore negative 6 times 9 is equal to negative 54. Remember, when we multiply integers with two positive signs the product will be positive. When we multiply integers with two negative signs the product will be positive. When we multiply integers with one negative sign and one positive sign the product will be negative. Our next episode will discuss the division of integers. See you in my next video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates.